Hey people, Fernando doing another video, in this case reviewing the Drake Corsair, this beautiful ship that you see right this moment. As you see, asymmetric wing display, which I find interesting, especially for a piratey, you know, peg-legged kind of ship. Lots and lots of guns, both sides guns, you have turrets on both sides as well, a bunch of missiles and uh, VTOL engine. You have a big trunk there in the back, we'll see in a minute how much capacity you have, 72 by the way, let's just do a spoiler right this minute, uh, but this is going to be a full review, I'll do a little bit of everything with the ship and you'll get a better feel, a better idea of how well it does, you have a turret on top as well, uh, and from, from the cabin you have decent enough visibility, it's, it's okay, um, you know, it's what would you expect from a ship like this? Full interaction with those buttons. You have buttons for everything, so it's you know latest gen um, uh, the dashboard there where you can actually pull the, up the wings and so on. You have exterior lights. You have a bunch of, of of functions, and they actually move around when you pull them up and down, which is which is nice. Uh, yeah, the Drake aesthetic is definitely there. Um, and we, we really like that. What we like the most is this, the amount of guns you have in this ship. You have four size five and two size four, right? Two MSA on this side and eight size three missiles at your disposal. Um, now you, you, is it eight? I think, I think you had more of those. Anyway, you're probably not here for the missiles. You want the guns. <laughs> and you have a decent enough capacitor so as to sustain a lot of firepower. This is, as of right now, the most powerful uh, solo pilot ship there is. Maybe even with you know friends, it's still uh, extremely powerful. Uh, but as a solo ship, yeah, by all means. Let's go check it out in aerial and, and see how, how it does in the surface and, and flying in atmosphere and we're right now getting interdicted by pirates which is interesting, it's a good opportunity to try out our combat capabilities, right? So what is that we have here? We have one, two, three, four, okay that's not bad let's try out and see how it does with you know certain ships we have a Valkyrie over there which is, a Valkyrie is a nice test to see how much firepower, how quickly you can bring it down. I'm telling you right now, it flies very nice. It's more agile than your Connie. Definitely more agile. I don't know if that's going to be nerfed, I mean balanced, but as of right now, I can tell you it is more agile. Noticeably so. At least for me, it's noticeably more agile. Struggling a little bit to get my shots on, on target because this is a new ship for me, a new ship for everyone. Guys, remember, boom, boom, there you go. It is fast, man. Remember, if you're thinking of playing Star Citizen, this is the best moment. Use my referral link below. That referral link, if you use it on Friday, you'll probably get some free gift, like a ship, something, uh, maybe a ship, maybe some gear or weapons or armor, but you'll get something free if you use that referral and you'll play for free. This Friday, you'll start playing for free, and then if you did, but still, even if you sign up to play to play for free, use the referral because if you later decide to play the game uh, for real, buying a ship, just buy the Aurora MR, fifty bucks is all you really need to spend. Uh, then yes, uh, you will get the stuff, uh, whatever uh, gift that you're getting because of the promo, because of using the referral. This is piece of cake, it just blows up anything that it gets in front as if nothing, by far the most amount of firepower pilot control you have in game, it is, it is scary and it's also super agile, look how I bring down that buccaneer with no problem, I cannot do it nearly as easily with, with a, with, with a, uh, with a Connie, the Connie struggles a lot more against small agile ships, Will they shit, nerf it to death? They probably will, man. I, I cannot tell you otherwise. They're probably nerfing this as we speak right now. I don't think they're going to be nerfing the guns. I think they're going to be nerfing the agility that it has and making it a little bit more sluggish because there's always a complainers that anything that you cannot, anything that can beat a Gladius, you know, it gets up their panties and they just cannot take it. So, yeah, probably will be the case. Let me use the map so as to get here to Ariel a bit faster. And you'll you'll see how it does in in, in planetary uh, flight in space. Super agile. This is 
potentially a do it all ship. This could be your your true jack of all trades ships because man, it has so much going for it. One of the things I like is you have three ways of entering and exiting the ship, and two of these access from planet surface because you have the you, you have the the um, you have the door in the back in the garage, which is what you're forced to use in in some ships like like the MSR. But besides that, you have a small elevator that makes it a lot quicker for you to get into and out of the ship. And not only that, the elevator also goes to the roof, which you'll see in a second. It is nice versatility. I wish we had seen this in, in other ships. Looking at you, MSR, you definitely needed a a, a, a freaking uh, elevator to get quicker access to to the um, to the bridge of the ship, which unfortunately is not there. Uh, yeah, let's deploy those wings and and see how it does with uh, flying in atmosphere. It is very agile. It is very agile. Decent visibility, I think, for for what it is. I've seen worse. <laughs> yeah, looking at freelancer. Regarding that, let's go to one of the stations and actually check out how much cargo we can get in there. If I remember, it was 72 SCU, which is very nice. It's a decent... Let's see how much money that translates to into a Laranite, for those of you that want to use this for a little bit of hauling. Um, you, you have a, a jack-of-all-trades ship. I hope, I hope they just don't ruin this by balancing it to death. They, they are famous for doing that sort of thing. Let's hope this is not the case. Uh, yeah, kind of lost here right now. Not sure where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, flying around, trying to remember where my bearings. You know, when you get distracted, this kind of thing that happens. Is it there? No, that's best, best deck. No, not best deck. Latham is the one that I was aiming for. It's super agile in, in, in the surface. It is very agile. You can tell it just reacts very swiftly it responds very fast in all directions really uh, it, it accelerates nicely as well this is something that i was not expecting i was expecting something I let a lot more sluggish probably it will be balanced into something that is a shadow of what it is right now and people will complain but by then they will be looking at the new hotness whatever new ship is coming out don't fall for that guys really just, you know, start playing the game. As I was saying, get yourself the referral that you have there so as to maybe get a little bonus ship. That would be awesome. They're probably going to be giving something cool for free uh, this Friday. Remember the referral. Remember Friday. Sign up and use the referral even if you're playing for free, flying around for free during a week. Once you decide to buy, remember to decide... It, remember to buy the game package, the MS, the, the Aurora MR, 50 bucks, that's all you need. Buy it before the promotion ends. Buy it before Free Fly ends, so as to get whatever gift goes along with the code. Okay? Remember, keep that in mind. So, heading into Latham, flying nicely, no problem whatsoever. This is... I, I hope they keep it this way. That would be ideal. And it just... You know, don't mess with something nice that people like. <laughs> don't take everything from us, CGI, uh, CIG. It's a, it's a, you know, we don't have much to do here. There's not a whole lot of actual gameplay. We only have these things. Let us be happy for a while. That would be much appreciated. Very easy to maneuver and land. I like the wing setup that you have here. It's it's the asymmetric thing. It's very piratey. You know, it's like a missing an eye or or a leg or something that's not quite right which makes sense for a Drake pirate ship named Corsair. Turn off the engines and we go out to check things out. Uh, let's do a little bit of a tour of the inside of the ship while at it. And we see that we have our seat there, our co-pilot will go under main seat, captain's quarter, not much to look at here. It's I wish they did a nicer captain's quarter with you know more of a captain's quarter-ish feel and not just like the other one, some storage that doesn't seem to be activated. Doors open super fast. You just run as you want. Left and right turrets and the three uh, bunk beds that you have, the, the bunk quarters that you have there. Mess, mess hall, bathroom on the left, kitchen there on the right. And I wish they had a little bit more light in here. This is a little bit dark for my taste. Let me know what you think, but it does look a little bit light. Maybe a fire extinguisher there someday. Probably something they're still working on. Anyway, the, what you would expect. Um, yeah, I don't have to. Yeah, they, they all look the same. You know, they just look the same. It's the, it's the same thing over and over. 
Just, uh, this is the part I'm not all that convinced. The, the engine room here, I wish they would have. I mean, yes, I understand that you need somewhere, but you can put all, you can put all of this in a in a wall in, in a different way. Maybe make the armory a little bit bigger. You have a, a yeah yeah um, airlock there, which can be useful for flying outside. And man, this is big, big storage room. I'm sure you can fit. An Ursa rover, we'll check that in a minute, but I'm sure you can fit, at the very least, Tumbril, Tumbril yes. Ur my bet is that, yes, uh, an Ursa rover is 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 big enough, and you have a lot of cargo. So, again, multi-role ship, multi-role ship by far and large. You can do pretty much anything with this, especially how quickly you can access the pilot seat and how agile it is, it definitely can be a daily driver. Sometimes people use, you know, like a, I, I use a, a freaking caterpillar or a, or, 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 or my, <laughs> you know, my carrack as a daily driver. Yeah, you can do that, but it is a pain in the ass to walk back and forth. You know, getting in and out of that thing takes forever. One of the things that I love here is that you have this elevator. Not only does it go down, it goes up. It goes up to the roof. Which is cool because this would allow you to, you know, get, get a sniper there on top and run security or or something like that. So it opens up a bunch of possible gameplay for the ship. You have a back turret there in case we're being chased or whatnot. And even is you can aim forward with this. If you have all guns aiming forward, man, this is a wrecking machine. So we'll go down to the planetary surface. And this is the nice thing. You can get, get into this little elevator, go up, and just quickly get yourself to your seat and fly away. Let's check how you can send this thing up then, just as to not have anyone steal our new Corsair. Uh, button somewhere probably. Yeah, there it is. Uh, nope. No, that is for retrieving. That's for retrieving. Yes, that's not it. Okay, you can just use, I guess, the... The yeah, it's it's not it's not it's just calling it. It's not sending it up. It would have been nice to have a button there that sends the, you know, sends it up or something. But we can just use the lever, and send it there to yeah mess hall. That's gonna do the trick. And now our ship is is nice and safe. Let's go look for whatever cargo we have available here, um, and then we'll see if it fits that that uh, that a uh, uh, rover, which. Yeah, I'm not having, I mean, I've been seeing a bunch of people flying these around, uh, everyone trying it out. It's a very cool ship, guys, I, I won't lie to you. I, I've been playing lots of No Man's Sky recently because it has a lot of what Star Citizen is missing, which is gameplay, you know, exploring, actual real exploration. Uh, let's see how much late, um, how much Laranite we have available and see how much money, how much Laranite can you get in there? How much is it? 180,000 bucks. That is great. That is nice money. That is a, a decent little profit, even though you'll probably use this ship. Yeah, 72 SU of... Uh, 72, yeah, was it? 72? 72 SU of cargo total. That is great. Fantastic. I cannot help myself. I have to look into this thing. And okay, we'll change the helmet for something cooler. Why not? Right, yeah. Yeah, let's just drop this thing right there and get the cooler helmet. Just works with the aesthetics that I'm going for. Anyway, going back to this thing, let's check what vehicle we can fit in there. Um, it is a, a vehicle that for making money, obviously, you, you want to, the best way to make money right now in Star Citizen, if you're like a, not if you start playing right now, you know, if you start playing right now, my advice would be, learn to fly your ship, move around, do some of the delivery missions. Once you're comfortable with that, yeah, jump into combat. First learn to fly, then do combat. The ramp opens super quickly, guys. That is very nice to see. Pushing it over there, yeah. But it opens very quickly, and that is always appreciated. They are fine-tuning these little things. I wish they would fine-tune the ships we already bought. I wish they would take the time to fine-tune the ships that we already have purchased and are already in game. Many of these, not only do they not fine tune, they just let them break, like with the 400i, the armory in the 400i, which was super cool, those gun lockers, they're not even functional anymore. They broke and no one could be bothered to fix it. That is one of the things that upsets a lot of people from CIG.
That's one of the things that it seems like, oh, you only care about selling the new hotness, the new moneymaker for you, and you don't, and you immediately forget about us, and you, you nerf the ship, and you forget about us immediately. That's one of the tactics that they have, the marketing strategy that they have, which is, yeah, it is not nice to say the least, okay? It's not nice to do that to people that are buying your product, spending money on your game. Don't screw people over like that, guys. It is very uh, unpleasant. It is... It you know, speaks poorly of, of what you're doing here. You know, appreciate that so many people love the game enough to spend so many you know millions of dollars, really a bunch of money being made. Don't just you know nerf the thing to death, offer something new, and don't even bother to fix it when it breaks. That is that is not cool. Anyway, even these vehicles, the, the positive side is that Star Citizen has the best vehicles in, in any video game. I mean, I'm loving No Man's Sky right now, and I will say No Man's Sky is probably a better game as of right now than Star Citizen. You have real exploration, thousands and thousands of planets, and the uh, 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 automated, generated, uh, the, the generated planet surface, it is still interesting. I don't know how they did that. It's a very... Uh, you know, it, it is noticeable how even when it's automatically generated, it is still beautiful and interesting to walk around No Man's Sky. Anyway, this thing fits there like a glove, as you can probably see. It is huge. Look at how look how much space you still have. Of course, it fits, and it has room to spare on this side. It has room to spare. You could probably throw in like a little one of those little Drake bikes on this side as well. Fantastic, huge. The ship is great, guys. What 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 else can I say? The ship is fantastic. I just hope they don't uh, nerf it and balance it to death as they usually do. Because if they don't, you definitely have a you know. Uh, and yes, of course, that it couldn't be any other way. As I leave the Ursa rover, I am glitched through the roof of the ship. Because why not? Why fix that that which has been in the game for years? And, and make things work properly. No, let's still have that happen. Let's still glitch our way through the roof. Fortunately, I do have an elevator. Let me see if I find the button somewhere here. The turret is aiming forward. You could have that, that turret aiming forward as well. You could have all guns aiming forward in the ship. This is insane. So somewhere here, where was the button? There you go. Yeah. So yeah, you can call the elevator. And, and get it back uh, and, and get back into the ship. It's the front of the ship, right? Yeah, there it is. So I have my, my little button here, and this is just another access point. If the, if the ramp is broken, if something goes wrong, I always like ships that have a second entry point. The more points of entry that you have, the better it is. For the Avenger Titan, very tiny little ship. But you have the ramp and you have the ladder, so it has to go directly into the seat which is huge. It is very practical to do that. Anyway, let's check one more time and see if everything is in proper place. This could have been better this time. This part here, not crazy about. But let's close that door there and we're ready to go. Okay, closing the ramp. And yeah, it is a fantastic multi-purpose ship. It is definitely every, it lives up to expectation, I think, of everyone wouldn't put it any other way anyway guys this is it i hope you enjoyed the video see you next time take care